Uh, today, very sensitive subject for bugs, the birds and the bees. I have one question already about pollination. Now, many of you may have been told by your parents that pollination is a dirty thing. It's not. Pollination is a natural process. It's the only way you're going to get chilies as well. Right. Now, some people just take their plant outside into the great wide world and let the insects get on with it. That's the bees part. I'm afraid there aren't any birds involved, but anyway. Now, a slightly more professional and complicated method involves some specialist techniques and some specialist equipment. We found paintbrushes work just as well for fertilizing. Just take a paintbrush, dry, and find a flower which is open, just brush in there, let it move around. Just, just nice and gently. For the bigger plants with the bigger flowers, then uh, you could just use your finger. It's not complicated. Just this. We got 50 chilies off of each plant last year by doing this. Then, after you've done that for every open one. Oh, that one had a lot. I've <laughs> seen a lot of that. Uh, I don't know if you caught it on camera, I probably didn't. Yeah, a lot of, lot of pollen just come flying off of that one. Yeah. And you can go back round them again. Yeah. Mixes up the pollen, makes up different genes. It's fine. Um, yeah, what happens is after you this, you eventually get flowers like this one, where the petal is starting to curl up and fall off. Don't worry, it's not dying. It's not dying. Many people might take that off. Eventually they go like this, where the petals come off completely. And that's a chili growing. This is a red zamina. And. It's just a start of it. That's it. That's how complicated it is. My cat's very interested in this, obviously. You start like that, though. That's yeah. Good. Without the flowers at all. This one. Yeah. And yeah. Um, some of, I mean, that's quite a very tall plant. Um, some of the smaller yeah, ones. Goes to the greenhouse. Avoid the cat. I mean, that one's a jalapeno. Don't use the same brush. Um, you get crossbreeds. Yeah. And look at the flower difference on that. For this one, you can use your finger, excuse me. Just lean in. You just rub on there, just to get the pollen from one part of the flower to another. It does the yeah, trick. This one's also growing flowers. Now, I don't know on, on um, preference of size, on like if the plant has to be really tall or really fat or anything like that. All I know is that they're growing flowers now in June. They sort of started in May. I didn't really let them grow in May, but now that's all they want to do. So, I mean, look at the size of that one. It's a banana plant, and there's one like banana pepper plant. Banana, yeah, a banana pepper plant, not the not a banana tree, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is the ones you would get with a doner kebab. If anyone wants to know, I think <laughs> either it. that or hot wax. Yeah, I think that's it for a pollination. Bye. later of this plant here um, after the flowers are now turning into chilies but the petals fell off and we've got some chilies growing um, the plant has reached a certain height now that we decided to put it into a larger pot which was purchased the other day um, this is just a test to see if it does grow any bigger. Um, hopefully it won't drop its chilies because we put it into another pot. Um, so we may get an update on it again and it may still be alive and it may be twice the size or it may die. We're hoping that it stays alive. But yeah, it's about to grow chilies. So, and that's it, I suppose. Goodbye, again.